Now, this information is very, very important if you are on medications. If you know of someone on medications, send them this video because I'm going to show you how to greatly reduce the side effects from medication. Now, one primary reason uh, why a lot of people have side effects from medication has to do with something in your liver. It's a certain group of enzymes that help break down certain medications and toxins as well. And if that enzyme system is not working, not only are you going to experience more side effects, but the medication could also not be as effective as it should. Now, of course, you already know this, but I'm all about giving people alternatives to medication, but there's certain people that need to be on medication. And uh, it's a really good thing to minimize the side effects. And then at the end of this, I'm going to give you a download that you can give your medical doctor to help them look at a potential DNA problem that you might have that can greatly alter uh, the type of medications that you're given. And so I will talk about that at the end. But let's first just talk about what is an enzyme. An enzyme is a protein that speeds up the chemical reaction in your body millions of times faster than if that enzyme wasn't working. The great majority of medications work by inhibiting certain enzymes. For example, like an ACE inhibitor, which inhibits um, this ACE enzyme that affects the blood pressure. Like aspirin inhibits something called COX enzymes that relate to inflammation. And so enzymes speed up the reaction. But what's really interesting about enzymes is they don't seem to use their own energy in this work that they do. In other words, they can keep being recycled and they seem to be very magical in that way. The other thing about enzymes in order to make them work is they need helper molecules. They need, it's called cofactors or coenzymes. And those are basically vitamins and minerals. And so now you know very simply why we need vitamins and minerals to allow these enzymes to work in our body. And we have millions and millions and millions of different enzymes in the body that create all sorts of different effects. But the primary enzymes I'm going to talk about today uh, are called the phase one, the phase two enzymes. Now, these are families of enzymes. They're groups of enzymes. They're not just one enzyme. And the phase one enzymes in your liver are called cytochrome P450 enzymes. Again, there's a family of them. And if there's any problem with this enzyme, you're not going to get the, the breakdown or the, at least the start the breakdown of this drug or toxin or whatever's uh, trying to be broken down. And then when you get into phase two, which works with phase one, you have other enzyme groups um, called glutathione enzymes. So you have both of these working together uh, to take a, a poison, I'm sorry, a medication and dismantle it and then turn it into a harmless water-soluble particle that can be eliminated through the urine or the sweat or the bowel. And this doesn't just have to do with medication breakdown. This has a lot to do with uh, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, benzene from petroleum products that you're exposed to, uh, pro-carcinogens, which are cancer-causing things, smoke, the chemicals in smoke, alcohol, estrogen. So this enzyme system is very, very important, not necessarily just to reduce the side effects, but also the effectiveness of a drug, but also to prevent cancer because uh, a lot of these medications or toxins that you're exposed to, if they're not fully broken down, they can build up in the body and accumulate and create toxicity and increase your risk for cancer and other problems. Why am I talking about this right now? Well, recently I'm doing a deep dive into genetics and it's a fascinating topic. And there's certain problems that go on with your DNA and your genes that can end up causing a problem with your ability to detoxify. One section that I'm studying right now is all about the detoxification genes. And a big one, which is a common problem, is a mutation of this cytochrome P450 enzyme system. There's over 2,000 different mutations that you can have with this one gene, and it can lead to a lot of problems. So if you get your DNA tested and you find this being a problem, then you need to work harder on these detoxification enzymes. And it could be the reason why you 
are experiencing unnecessary side effects from your medication in general. So number one, you can have DNA mutations with these enzymes. Okay. That's number one. Um, number two, you can have liver problems. Let's say your liver is fatty, or let's say it's inflamed, or let's say you have scar tissue as in cirrhosis. This can decrease the function of these, this phase one, phase two detoxification. Also, if you're consuming grapefruit, which is an inhibitor of this enzyme, the cytochrome P450, that can um, be a problem because what happens now, that medication that you take uh, starts to accumulate and it can create a much bigger effect than it should. And then also certain medications can inhibit that enzyme too, like warfarin, antidepressants, and even statins. So your doctor needs to be aware of this. A lot of this detoxification can then lead to inflammation. And this is why even like the omega-3 fatty acids, like from the fish oils or the olive oil that are anti-inflammatory, that support the heart, and even some of the omega-6 uh, fatty acids that create inflammation also work with this enzyme. So again, if there's a problem with this enzyme or your liver, you might not get the full benefit of you know, these fish oils or olive oil when you're taking them, you still feel inflamed. So the question is, how do we speed up this phase one, phase two detoxification system? Well, you're in luck because certain vegetables help to trigger this enzyme system. So in other words, it causes these enzymes just to work better in your body, which is kind of like an on switch. Um, so you have the cruciferous family of vegetables, and you also have the allium, which is the garlic and onion. Now, if you do the cruciferous sprouts, like broccoli sprouts that are very high in sulforaphane, that would be a really big trigger. You can also do a supplement called DIM, which is a concentrated form of cruciferous, which is a potent stimulator of phase one, phase two detoxification as well. Now, the other really cool thing, which is uh, pretty inexpensive, um, is you just do fasting. Fasting is a potent stimulator of the phase one, phase two detoxification. You wouldn't think that fasting could do that, but when you don't eat, you start to detoxify in a good way. And it's pretty inexpensive. Now, number three, the obvious one is reduce the exposure of these chemicals and toxins and poisons and get with your doctor. And maybe there's alternative versions of some of the medications that you're on. So you can take maybe um, natural versions of these medications. And then number four is just strengthening your liver. And one big way to do that is to get the fat out of the liver. And the way that I recommend to do that is to get on a the healthy version of the ketogenic diet. Okay. And then there's a really good supplement called milk thistle. You can take that, that strengthens the liver. And then there's also herbal things that you can take, uh, curcumin, green tea, and garlic, like I mentioned with the allium vegetables. And for more information on how to target the liver directly and get that fat off the liver, uh, you should really check out this video right here.